What's up everybody? This is Chris back with another video today. It's the Apple X serve raid um, What I got going on here is I got my servers down here with about six or nine terabytes of storage I added a G5 four channel uh, uh, Yeah uh, SATA card so I could support larger hard drives and the two that come in it um, so anyway it's my junky mess uh i have all these boxes here because i have a cat that eats wires so i have to block them off anyway uh so i got the xserve raid off of ebay it was 70 bucks it was naked didn't have anything in it a bunch of these uh what the hell that these blank trays which you can't hook nothing up so after a couple bulk lot orders i got some trays and then i found out hey it's all ide so i got some ide drives largest ones are 750 but they were like a hundred bucks a shot so i got 500s so it's about three and a half terabytes on this volume and i'll show you what's going on here on the xserve raid config that i managed to get working with el capitan through a java hack um so yeah email me about it if you're interested you need to get the xserve raid admin running on uh what is this? Uh, yeah, it'll be done. Ten, eleven, six. So this is a Hackintosh in a case down here. But the uh, I got one array right now. It's initialized. So it's two point seven three terabytes. RAID five, eight stripe. Uh, each drive is a five hundred, which comes at the four sixty five on all eight drives and there's a net so yeah uh right now it's initializing the array which takes a super long time uh four percent complete i just initialized this part that's eh, about an hour ago and that's why hey you used to my bed camera shit that's why all the blue is going on once it's done the blue will go out for activity and these uh, left con upper con lower controller upper controller if I got it wrong um, will go up and down blue on utilization so once I get the other set in what I'm gonna do is IDE to SATA converters which I actually bought one but I bought the wrong kind and it was the uh, yeah the male version of this now these trays there is a company called C2X Tech, which I have emailed, and I think they went out of business. If you squeeze these sides, you can take this off, and it's a standard IDE. But what it is in the back, it looks like LVD SCSI to me, right, to an IDE converter. So this company, C3X Tech, apparently in 2011, replaced the entire board and gave you a serial ATA connector awesome sauce right but they were $70 each I don't care I'd pay it that way I could use three and a half inch drives um now people are like well you can only do up to 750 gigs I'm like yeah that's on IDE but the controller card in here is an EMC EMC is a standard storage area network company and upon looking up the chipset you can run drives up to two terabytes each in here so i'm going to try it with the ide to sata converters i'll throw like a one a two a three a four whatever i have like drives out the wazoo so yeah i'll be uh putting them in there and uh, we'll see how far we get so stay tuned for that and if you are interested in the uh raid admin that runs on the uh modern El Capitan or Sierra even uh, I have it on Sierra at work and it works fine um, the only thing that you will have to do even though there is an exception is every time you run let me quit this every time you run the raid admin you're gonna get this and it's really no big deal Boop, allow and there you go you can log in now you will have to type your password in if you do anything if you didn't change it default passwords for xserve raid admin is public when you add the system and private when you do anything else which you can change in settings after you log in
So that's it. So anyway, stay tuned for the uh, IDE to SATA, and hopefully in you know a couple days this sucker will zero out because that's what it does. It zeroes out all the data, and then you get a brand new drive array which you can then uh, add through Disk Manager on the XServe itself, which mine is a Power Mac uh, Tower G5 Dual 2.0. And it's got 32 gigs of RAM, 16 gigs of RAM, 16? Yeah, 16 gigs of RAM. Um, so that's it. And like I said, stay tuned for the next one, and we'll see you shortly. Thanks for watching.